So for quite some time now, I was doing some research on both, uh, well, the most common types of stoves that you would use to cook food or boil water with on trail. And obviously the alcohol stove versus the canister stove is kind of a good topic. A lot of people have opinions on and <clears throat> have, uh, you know, facts that they will never switch back to with or where they have uh, bias to. And I, I was one of those people that I was really drawn to the alcohol stove and the DIY section of that in the beginning. And then I slowly started to gravitate towards the canister stove for just ease of use. And on trail, I noticed that anybody that I met pretty much had a canister stove. Um, and, you know, I was kind of wondering why that was the most common use of uh, at least cook kit that I would see um, just in terms of weight savings. So what I did was I compiled a list of pros and cons between the two, and I, uh, I kind of wanted to share other than just burn time and weight savings, because that was the only thing I could find at least doing some research on. Uh, everybody was comparing the burn times between these two, and they're kind of different. They really don't, I don't necessarily compare to each other with that. They, they burn fuel of some kind very differently and uh, other than weight. So just as a, a preface, I got, at least in terms of the BRS uh, ultralight titanium canister stove and your choice of a 110 gram uh, isobutane propane, whatever your canister is. Um, these are actually, at least for my kit with the Tox 550, pretty comparable. They're, they almost weigh the same. If I were to go with my stainless steel alcohol stove and let's say three days of fuel, um, putting this maybe six, seven, five ounces maybe of heat or some sort of alcohol that you would use to burn, they're actually pretty comparable. So I kind of wanted to look at the pros and cons between each one disregarding the weight. Um, nowadays, you can get one of these BRS titanium stoves or canister stoves for, I mean, super cheap, 10 to 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, if I were to go for five to six days overnight, my uh, alcohol fuel bottle would be about as much as one of these 110 gram uh, isobutane propane mix, uh, liquid pressurized gas, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so you know, I, I really want to look at the pros and cons outside of what generally I'm seeing as like a burn time. People would put a cup of water inside their pot and seeing which one was faster. So um, I wanted to go with the pros of the alcohol stove first and, and why I chose that uh, to kind of get into the, uh, the DIY segment of it. Um, you know, initially these are lighter. They're, they're not as much as a 25 gram BRS stove. Uh, depending on the material you use, <laughs> um, you can use multiple fuel as well. I mean, you, you can ignite these with heat, which is a water remover, an automotive field water remover. You can use rubbing alcohol. You can even use uh, Everclear, which is alcohol, grain alcohol, if you were in a pinch. Um, so pretty much, you know, there's a wide fuel option list that you can put into these stoves and um, ignite something with, uh, with the lighter. Uh, these are pretty versatile. Um, and if you make them yourself like this, I know you can buy these from Tokes, but they are cheaper than if you were to buy, and this isn't a lot to me, but 10 to 20 bucks for a canister BRS uh, stove attachment. But, you know, a uh, dollar, $2, uh, tall boy, uh, it's a Red Bull can. These are generally cheaper. Um, with that, though, you, you do lose burn time. Uh, these are not pressurized. They, they don't maintain as much heat as a pressurized fuel canister does. So and that's why you're seeing these videos of uh, the alcohol stoves getting kind of destroyed by the uh, canister stove. But that's accepted going in for weight. Um, the other con is that you have to use, well, not have to, but generally you'll have to use a windscreen of some kind. Uh, really to isolate the heat inside the bottom of the, the pot itself. Um, these these help a lot. These weigh nothing, though, so I don't want to include that with the weight category, but they are a piece of gear that you're going to have to have additionally. Uh, you may have to cut for your pot if you're trying to, you know, consolidate everything inside the uh, the pot itself, or, you know, sometimes they come with the actual alcohol stoves themselves. Um, disregarding the fact that you have to have your own fuel bottle for whatever 
alcohol you use. The uh, Giga Power actually takes up generally more space or any type of uh, isobutane canister stove. These take up a little bit more space, and I don't want to say it can be more, you know, heavy, but they, they can create a little bit uh, more real estate in your pack itself. Um, if you do this correctly, you can fit everything inside of your pot, or uh, these can take up as much space as you want, depending on how long you're going. So I kind of disregard that, but really when it, when it comes to it, a um, little bit longer burn time on the alcohol stove. They are a little bit harder to ignite. Some of these have to blossom depending on what design you use or what company you buy from, meaning that you can't just ignite these and then stick your pot on them. They will snuff out the flames. You have to wait until uh, the side vents or the ports, uh, in this case, blossom out the side so you can actually uh, create the combustion chamber, if you will, for the uh, flames to exit the pot to actually heat the pot on the outside. So... Um, Overall, if we're looking at you know a comparison between the two, longer to burn, a little bit more prep time, and generally sometimes more materials needed to ignite something. So um, if that's worth the wait to you, like I said, at least in this example, these are about the same. And a lot of people are, you know, that's why we see such a, a big strand of people going to these or making their own. There's a ton of videos on these. Um, if we can accept together that uh, they take longer to burn, then so be it. Um, again, I was still kind of drawn to this because I only saw this on trail. This is what most people were using, and um, I, I was wondering why. So picking up a BRS canister stove itself, way faster burn times. You don't have to take my word for it. Look on any video on YouTube. You'll see that this thing of any manufacturer, uh, Snow Peak, BRS, they, they pretty much destroy the, can or the uh, alcohol stove. In terms of burn time, um, I, I'm not including anything like that because a lot of pots are different, uh, ambient temperature, uh, you know, altitude, all that kind of stuff. But if we can accept generally that the canister stove is quicker to burn than the alcohol stove, um, you know, that saves a lot of time. At least at night, when you're in camp, set up your uh, set up your shelter, set up your your pack, and you're ready to eat, or in the morning when you're trying to get something done quickly. Um, I really think that's why people are going to these, uh, especially with the BRS design. It's more compact, too. So, um, Some people don't use them because they are a little heavier, and we're talking grams here. If you go with something similar to this, 110 grams uh, canister stove with a BRS, um, and really not much more compact. So, you know, once I started looking at the numbers and seeing the you know, canister stove versus the alcohol stove burn times, I, you know, I was really set on what holds more value. Um, in my opinion, the reason a lot of people use this over anything else is because it is faster to burn. It is more reliable when it comes to, um, you know, trying to set up and blossom your own stove itself. Uh, and it's a way easier setup, less parts. So this, uh, and I know if you go to REI and you take a foot in the jet boil line or MSR line, uh, these can become way more expensive than if you were to go to Speedway or, you know, BP and get a Red Bull can and start cutting and designing your own. But um, at least in this setup, these are pretty comparable in terms even of price, honestly, and, and weight. So, <clears throat> you know, just looking at speed, a burn time and uh, ease of use. I totally understand why this is used. Maybe this will help, you know, make your decision on what you're looking for for a uh, specific type of backpacking or how long you're going to be staying. And that's really the ultimate thing there is, you know, if I'm staying one or two nights, uh, that's a really good, you know, excuse to bring the alcohol stove. They're lighter. I don't have to bring as much fuel and take up less space. Um, but if you're kind of, you know, like me, and you're going to do a four to five day backpacking trail of some kind, you know, that I don't want to wait for coffee to, to be ready. I want it now. I don't want to wait for, you know, after a 15 to 25 mile day, I, I don't want to wait for boil, boil water to form to make my dinner. I want it now. So, um, a little bit of a, you know, difference between the two, um, uh, outside of just burn time and weight. These are actually pretty comparable when you compare the, at least the weight, but, um, I really think if you're somebody just in a hurry or looking for reliability or an easier setup, the uh, canister is the way to go. Um, they're not as 
uh, readily available in terms of the uh, canisters themselves. You can burn a lot of different stuff with the alcohol stove, a lot of different types of alcohol. But uh, if you're prepping for anything, uh, three day to five day to you know a full through hike, um, I can see why people are using these. I can see why these are used so much. Um, I've obviously used mine. So I just want to kind of to kind of do a comparison between the two um, outside of burn time. I, I really didn't find myself at least waking up late in a hurry to use the canister stove versus the alcohol stove. Um, and I really didn't even see a weight difference in at least these two setups. So uh, just looking at, you know, the type of fuel you can use or uh, the real estate in your pack. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit more information on both of those versus, you know, how long it takes to boil a cup of water because that's kind of irrelevant to me 30 miles into a, a through hike or a section hike. Um, I want to see what's more reliable and what's easier to work with. So depending on what you're doing, um, either one could be for you. I, uh, I think they're actually both usable for different types of situations that you may be in or different types of hiking that you may be doing. So um, I thought I'd give a little bit of a kind of comparison pros and cons to both. Um, I'm using both. Obviously, I, I prefer the alcohol stove over anything that's, that's kind of my hobby. Uh, at this point, when it comes to backpacking, I love making these stoves, but... Um, just thought I would give a little bit of a, I don't know, more, more biased opinion, but can definitely give you some info on why the canister stove is so popular, especially if you're starting out. So just thought I would share with you guys what I've been using or, you know, examples or reasons why I would chose what I was choosing to do different types of hikes.